हेलो स्टूडेंट्स क्लास एट साइंस चैप्टर सिक्स कम्बशन एंड फ्लेम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज कम्बशन कम्बस्टिबल एंड नॉन कम्बस्टिबल सब्सटेंस इज कंडीशन अंडर विच कम्बशन टेक्स प्लेस इग्निशन टेम्परेचर एंड इनफ्लेमेबल सब्सटेंस इज फर्स्ट सी व्हाट इज कम्बशन ए केमिकल प्रोसेस इन विच ए सब्सटेंस रिएक्ट विद ऑक्सीजन to give off heat is called combustion the substance that undergoes combustion is said to be combustible substance and it is also called a fuel the fuel may be solid liquid or gas sometimes light is also given off during combustion either as a flame or as a glow For example, magnesium ribbon bonds to form magnesium oxide and produces heat and light. You can say this is burning of magnesium ribbon. Charcoal and coal burning air producing carbon dioxide, heat and light. You can say this is burning of coal. And food is fuel for our body because food provides heat energy to our body. Yeah. What is the difference between the burning of a candle and burning of a fuel like coal? So we can say candle burns with the flame, whereas coal does not. Okay. Why this? Candle burns with the flame, but coal burns with only a glow. This is because only substances that vaporize while burning use flame. Thus, candle burns with the flame because it vaporizes while burning, and coal burns with the glow because it does not vaporize while burning. You can say this is a flame, but in this case, this is only glowing. Okay. These are the some substances. Which are combustible and non-combustible. You can say wood is combustible, paper is combustible, iron nail is non-combustible, kerosene oil is combustible, stone piece is non-combustible, straw is combustible, charcoal is combustible, match sticks are combustible, and glass is non-combustible. Now we can differentiate between these two type of substances. It is combustible substance and non-combustible non-combustible substance. Let us see. Substance that burns easily or catches fire easily are combustible substance. While non-combustible substance that is not capable of burning. Combustible substance reacts with oxygen to produce heat and light. While it does not react with oxygen to produce heat and light. For example. Paper, cloth, wood, etc. In this case, example is stone, cement, soil, etc. Now, what are the conditions under which combustion takes place? With the help of some activities, we try to explain it. Fix a lighted candle on a table. Put a glass chimney over the candle and rest it on a few wooden blocks. in such a way that air can enter the chimney okay you can see this in figure a like this this is lighted candle this is chimney and these are the wooden blocks on which this chimney is placed okay now remove the blocks and let the chimney rest on the table you can see this is in figure b this one and Finally, put a glass plate over the chimney. Again, see that is figure C. This we have put this plate on this glass chimney. Okay. Then what we will observe? The candle burns freely in case A, where when air can enter the chimney from below. In case B, when air does not enter the chimney from below. the flame flickers okay and produces smoke and in case c the flame finally goes off because the air is not available what we conclude from this activity we can say that 
फोर कंबशन एयर इज नेसेसरी नाउ सी सम मोर एक्टिविटी प्लेस ए पीस ऑफ बर्निंग वुड और चारकोल ऑन एन आयरन प्लेट और तवा कवर इट विद ग्लास जार और अ टम्बलर और अ ट्रांसपेरेंट प्लास्टिक जार देन अगेन ऑब्जर्व व्हाट हैपेंस यू विल ऑब्जर्व दैट चारकोल स्टॉप बर्निंग आफ्टर सम टाइम व्हाट वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट इज ऑक्सीजन और एयर इज नेसेसरी फॉर कंबशन एंड व्हेन वी कवर द प्लेट by a jar the oxygen supply is cut to the system and hence combustion does not take place another example when the clothes of a person catch fire the person is covered with a blanket to extinguish fire okay now some more experiences in our daily life does a match stick burn by itself we know no then how does it burn by rubbing on the side of the match box like this all of you familiar with this a piece of paper burns when a burning match stick is brought near it can you burn a piece of wood by bringing a lighted match stick near it our answer is no then how does it burn by using paper or kerosene oil to start fire in wood or coal it means first we will burn the paper and with the help of paper we will fire wood or coal in the same way or we can say another way to fire the wood or coal that is if we put some kerosene oil then if we bring lighted match stick then fire will be in wood or coal have you heard of forest fires during extreme heat of summer at some places dry grass catches fire and from the grass it spreads spread to the trees and very soon whole forest is on fire then what we conclude from these experiences it is different substances catches fire at different temperature we can say there is a minimum temperature required to catch a fire for a particular substance and that temperature is known as ignition temperature so we can say the lowest temperature at which a substance catches fire is called its ignition temperature a combustible substance cannot catch fire or burn as long as its temperature is lower than its ignition temperature cooking oil catches fire when a frying pan is kept for long on a burning stove kerosene oil and wood do not catch fire on their own at room temperature okay but if kerosene oil is heated a little it will catch fire but if wood is heated a little it would still not catch fire it means that ignition temperature of kerosene oil is lower than that of wood now again there is the one activity to show that it is essential for a substance to reach ignition temperature to burn and in this activity we will show heating water in a paper cup then how can we perform this activity make two paper cups by folding a sheet of paper pour about 50 50 ml of water in one of the cup heat both the cups separately with a candle then observe the empty paper cup starts burning you can say this paper cup is empty and this will start burning in the paper cup with water water becomes hot okay this paper cup in this water is there this water becomes hot if we continue heating the cup we can even boil water in the paper cup then we can call conclude the heat supplied to the paper cup is transferred to water by conduction so in the presence of water the ignition temperature of paper is not reached hence it does not burn from these activities we can find out what are the conditions necessary for combustion that is presence of combustible substance presence of oxygen or air and attainment or to reach of ignition temperature then what are inflammable substances the substances which have very low ignition temperature 
and can easily catch fire with the flame are called inflammable substances. Examples are like petrol, alcohol, liquefied petroleum gas that is LPG and on these substances such type of symbol is there that is danger this is the symbol and this is for highly inflammable or flammable same thing is there okay student thank you